Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're going to be upgrading the horns on my Jeep. So I just go ahead, I went ahead and got a pair of Hella horns, uh, sharp tones, and uh, let's unbox it right now. So, here it is. Sharp tone, horn set, M26S. Let's open it up. And you may see these from like a bunch of Subarus. Uh, it's a common mod, but uh, they should work just fine for the Jeep. So they are yellow. I'm thinking about painting these a different color, but for now I can just mount them up, and then if I ever decide on a color, then I can just take them off and then paint them whatever color. So it comes with two horns, a relay. Very simple. Four prongs. Also, I gotta figure out how to how to do that later because I don't know what the hell to do with that. And it also comes with a wiring diagram, I believe, is what this is. Yeah. So we can go into depth on this a little bit later, but for now, I'm gonna figure out how to mount these up to the Jeep. <clears throat> I have the grill off. But I'm just going to show you guys where I'm trying to mount them. So either I'm going to do it on the, the, the driver's side, like right here. So where they kind of peek out through the slots, kind of like that. Or on the passenger side. Um, something like this, you know, will look kind of cool. Anywhere like this would be cool. So either on the passenger side or the driver's side. And how I'm going to figure this out is I'm just going to get some cardboard and uh, kind of trace out how I'm going to mount this up to the bottom bracket here and the top bracket here and then after that I can just get a piece of sheet metal and then cut it out. So after a lot of uh, fabrication work, I figured out a good solution. So these are pretty sturdy. Um, well, you obviously can't take but shaking, but I, uh, I'm going to slip in a zip tie through this hole on the top and bottom, and that will stabilize this. Um, but yeah, it should be all right. Um, I drilled into this uh, kind of piece of the front grill, and then I drilled up top here, and I put in some bolts I had laying around in the shop. And then I drilled through this past plastic piece here and then connected it here. So um, it looks pretty good. Let me uh, set the camera up and then bring the grill around so you guys can see what it'll look like when it has the actual, actual grill on. So it'll kind of pretty, line up pretty much like that. And that's, that's what I was looking for right there. Uh, just them peeping out just right through one of the slots um, so yeah that's, that's how it is so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the grill and uh, file down these edges so I don't just cut myself a lot and then I'll show you guys after I finish filing it down alright so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my scotch bright uh, pad you guys can use like uh, sandpaper or whatever, and I'm just going to go ahead and scuff it up uh, so paint will stick to it. And then yeah, so let me go ahead and get into it and start sanding it down. So 
So now I'm just going to use some Rust-Oleum high heat paint. Uh, it should come out as a matte black type of finish. Uh, I just use high heat just because it's what's kind of been laying around the house. And uh, it gets a little hot under the hood, so I don't want anything to melt. So that'll be my first coat, and then I'll come back for maybe two or three coats after. Alright, it's the next day, and I just let the mount just uh, sit and dry overnight. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hit these exposed um, holes that I drilled into my Jeep with some black, just to prevent some uh, rusting. Very good. Alright, so I'm just going to assemble the, the mounting bracket and uh, the horns. And then I'm just going to add some thread locker on the back side of these bolts. Alright, so I have it installed. Pretty firm. However, I'm going to go ahead and try to clock these differently to make this, the connectors on the other side, like over here somewhere. So I'll leave a clean install. You won't see the wires kind of like loop out like this. So let me do that right now.
locked just like this so I have the prongs coming out the sides just like this um, looks pretty good